Hello friends, welcome back, happy welcome to you. In the last session we have seen what is the relation between the coordinates when the axes are translated or axes are rotated. In this session we will see the combination of them. So we will take a, co we'll take a point whose coordinates, how they will be change when the axis is translated to another point, let us say h comma k. Then afterwards, the coordinate axis is rotated at that particular location by an angle theta. So it's a combination of both translation and rotation. In such scenario, what will be the relationship between the coordinates with respect to the old system and the new system, or how the equation of equation of of a curve or a straight line will change? when the axes are translated and rotated. So for that, let's do a simple derivation. Let's try to take the coordinate axis. Let us say this is our coordinate axis. We have x and y now the coordinate axis are shifted to another point first translated so we'll say this is our new coordinate axis and this is let us say x dash and y dash after that at this particular point these coordinate axis are now rotated by an angle theta so this is the so this is rotated by an angle theta now we want to understand that suppose there is a point suppose there is a point with the coordinates x comma y in the old system and in the new system let us say the same coordinates are given by x dash and y dash we want to find out the relation between the x dash and y dash. For that what we will do, we will first let's plot, let us say that coordinate system original origin is 0 comma 0. Now shift it to h comma k and so we have to find out now the relation between x and x dash and y and y dash. For that what we will do? First let's try to plot x and y with respect to the old system. So with respect to the old system that means we are talking with respect to x and y. With respect to x and y the old system original system x is nothing but the perpendicular distance from y axis and y equal to perpendicular distance from x axis. So we'll go ahead with that and we'll just plot it we'll say that x is this is y this distance is y this distance is y and this distance is nothing but equal to x. So I can write down here to here this whole thing is equal to x and the other side this whole distance from here to here is nothing but equal to y. So once we are clear with that we also know with respect to the new coordinate system that's nothing but with respect to the new system that is x dash and y dash x double dash and y double dash this is y dash and this distance is equal to x dash so let's try to plot those two points we will say that we will say that this distance from the point to the perpendicular distance from the point perpendicular distance from the point to the x axis is nothing but y coordinate. So this is equal to y dash and this distance is equal to x dash. 
we also know that if the angle made here between the x x dash and x double dash is theta then the angle between its perpendiculars is also equal to theta so now first we'll try to find out like wh what we did earlier if you remember we'll try to first find out the value of x in terms of x dash so for that i will write down x equal to we are talking about this distance x which is equal to first what we will do we will take x dash and we'll try to take it's a horizontal component so I'll just drop it there so first what we will do we will take x dash and we'll try to get this distance this distance is nothing but equal to this distance is equal to x dash x dash this is x dash and we are talking about the distance so x dash cos theta so can i write down x dash cos theta like what we did earlier same thing minus of the next one from this total distance what i have to subtract is this part because my x is only till here so I have to subtract this that is nothing but y dash sin theta minus y dash sin theta so that will give me the distance up to from here to here then I have to add this horizontal distance which is nothing but equal to h so it will become plus h similarly you can see that y equal to now suppose we want to find out y, y is nothing but this whole distance. So what we will do, we will divide that into three parts. One is this, which is y dash cos theta. The second one is this, that is x dash sin theta. And the other one is nothing but equal to k. So we can write it as x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta plus k now so can we write it as x minus h equal to x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta also y minus k is equal to x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta so once we know x in terms of x dash now we know x in terms of x dash suppose we want to find out x dash in terms of x how we have to do like what we did earlier what we will do now we will take this first equation suppose we want x dash we'll multiply with cos theta the first equation and sin theta second equation so that these two will cancel i will get x dash so if i do that the next step will be I can write down x minus h into cos theta is equal to x dash cos square theta minus y dash sin theta cos theta. Similarly, when I multiply the second equation with the sin theta, I will have y minus k sin theta equal to x dash sin square theta plus y dash sin theta cos theta now we try to add this two we will have this two cancel out we will have x minus h cos theta plus y minus k sin theta is equal to x dash into cos square theta plus sin square theta which is nothing but x dash so i can go back and this is x dash so what will be y dash when we want to y dash what we will do we'll do similarly but we will multiply now suppose we want y dash from these two equations whatever we have we want y dash so we have to multiply the first one with minus 
sin theta so that this becomes y dash sin square theta and the second equation with cos theta so that it becomes y dash cos square theta so that it will become y dash and these two will cancel. So let us do that. This time we will multiply with minus sin theta and cos theta respectively. So it will be minus of x minus h into sin theta is equal to x dash minus of cos theta sin theta plus y dash sin square theta and the second one will be y minus k cos theta which is equal to x dash sin theta cos theta which will cancel obviously and we will have y dash cos square theta. I hope it's not clear but I think you will understand that. Now you just add this up. This two will cancel out. What you have is y dash is equal to minus of x minus h sin theta plus y minus k cos theta. Even you don't remember this, the table we have to remember very carefully. So let's write down the table how it looks like. Now the table for both translation and rotation is like this. First instead of x earlier, earlier we have x, y, then we have x dash and y dash. Afterwards we have here cos theta minus sin theta. After that we have here sin theta cos theta. The same thing only the difference is now x will become here x minus h and y will become y minus k. So x dash is equal to x dash equal to x minus h x dash equal to x minus h cos theta plus y minus k sin theta that is nothing but what we got here. Similarly y dash equal to minus of x minus h sin theta minus of x minus h sin theta plus y minus k cos theta and we want to find out x minus h then x minus h is x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta similarly y minus k is x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta so that's a derivation in the next session what we will do we will try to do some simple problems applying this particular concept of both translation and rotation together generally in textbooks we don't see the table for both combination of translation and rotation so what we see generally is for only for rotation but this is a combination of both translation and rotation so using this we can easily solve the problems which we'll see in the next session so i'll catch you in the next session till then keep smiling and sharing